Hey folks, it's Speedy Stevie Video Time again. McLaren's relentless pursuit of lightness reaches another level with their new supercar, the Artura. Its aerodynamic efficiency is more advanced than ever. Helping to shape a minimal, beautiful new design. From the rear suspension to the advanced E differential, every new element contributes to a uniquely intense driving experience. It features ultralight engineering, blistering electrified power, sublime agility and engagement. Of course, it's McLaren to the core. It's for the next generation. Looking at this great view, it's hard to imagine that it all started out as one man's dream, his true passion. From the McLaren family garage, here to MTC, the McLaren Technology Centre in the heart of England, it's fair to say we've come a long way. McLaren for the lead. This is where it all started. Bruce's first race-winning car. We made our name on the racetrack. As did many of the greatest drivers of all time. Both Ayrton Senna and Alan Prost drove this car to 15 race victories. And we took what we'd learned about speed, agility, and super lightweight engineering to create the most innovative supercars for the road. Take the P1, for example, and the way it opened people's eyes to the possibilities for high-performance electrification. The speed tail, an electrified Hyper GT capable of 250 miles an hour. Everything we've learned, every drop of our expertise, has been poured into creating a next generation supercar. This is the full force of McLaren. Let's take a look.
fastest way around any racetrack is to take the perfect line. It's all about precision. Sliding around can cost you the race. But today, I'm not racing. Mate, the way the e-motor comes in... Ooh. <laughs> How could you get bored of this? Coming in hot. Ooh. This is the bit I really love. EV mode. <laughs> How awesome is that? Complete silence. I'm Jamie Christophen, Director of Product Strategy at McLaren. Artura uses high performance hybrid technology to improve the driving experience, but without the weight penalty you'd normally associate with adding battery technology. And we've done so while staying true to McLaren's DNA of technical design, outstanding performance, and unparalleled driving dynamics. Now let's hear from our design director, Rob Melville, on the first of those pillars, technical design. What was the brief? The brief was to design an all new McLaren hybrid supercar. What did that mean technically? Well, all new architecture, all new hybrid powertrain, all new aero, improved cooling, improved visibility, improved ergonomics, and exquisite design execution, all whilst keeping weight to a minimum. We guided the look and feel with three key phrases, the first of which was purity. Now, not just purity of line, but purity through the integration of components. This enabled us to achieve this very clean, pure aesthetic, but also the integration components meant we were able to reduce the weight, and in turn, reducing the weight means Artura will rewrite the rule book on just how engaging an electrified supercar can be. Then we have technical sculpture. Stunning to look at, but there for a reason. And just like the forms we see in nature, which have been carved by elements, Artura is the result of the forces around it. And finally, we have functional jewellery. We don't decorate our cars, we take what you need and make it beautiful. And Artura has classic supercar proportions, that long, low, sleek nose, compact wheelbase with staggered wheel sizes, so 19 inch at the front, 20 inch at the rear. This very rakish, sleek roof line and a cabin that's sunk down between these high peaked fenders. Those features coupled with this very compact short rear overhang give the car a visual energy like it's ready to accelerate or, or leap forwards even when it stood still. And then moving around to the rear we have the full width laser cut mesh designed to optimize the cooling across the rear zone. Set into that we have these ultra slim almond shaped LED light blades, very um, characterful and ultra high tech. In the middle, the twin exhausts, lightweight solution, but also sounds absolutely fantastic. The approach on the interior is the same. It's all about purity, and we've created a driver-focused environment using lightweight luxury materials. And we've taken that driver-focused concept to an all-new level. Not only do you have the, the screen angled towards you here, but we've now mounted the binnacle and the dynamic controls onto the column. So that means as you find your perfect driving position, you always maintain perfect visibility of the instrumentation. It means you can keep your hands on the wheel, your eyes on the road, and you can then engage and have fun with the dynamic setup of the car. And then we have the seats. Here we're showing the club sports seat, single piece, lightweight back shell with adjustability. But you can also option the comfort seat, which has multi-way adjustability. Once you've chosen your seat, then think about the overall look and feel for the interior, and there's three key specifications you can choose from. First of which is performance, mean and moody with hot accents. You then have Tech Lux, which uses lighter material combinations, but a large volume of leather. And then we have Vision, the interior we have in the car right here, using very modern, fresh combinations of both colours and materials, but it still maintains that very sporty, dynamic feel. To hit our high-level objectives for the Artura program, 
we had to start with a clean sheet of paper to design and develop what we're calling MCLA, the McLaren Carbon Lightweight Architecture. This, of course, starts with an all-new carbon tub. But in fact, MCLA is much more than just a tub. It's the chassis hard points, it's the crash structures, and it's an all-new electrical architecture, one that's allowed us to add features like adaptive cruise control and Apple CarPlay. MCLA will underpin our next generation of McLaren models. Most importantly, MCLA is optimized to work with our all-new high-performance hybrid powertrain and exploits McLaren's core competitive advantage when it comes to electrification, which is lightweighting. MCLA has been designed hand-in-hand -hand with our all-new high-performance hybrid powertrain. At its heart is an entirely new 3-litre V6 engine with a pretty unusual 120-degree V angle of course, featuring direct injection. The hybrid system, while there to deliver that P1 driving experience, is in fact completely new. It features a bespoke axial flux motor and a lithium-ion energy-dense battery. Together, the high-performance hybrid powertrain delivers 680 PS of power and 720 newton meters of torque. And 95 PS of that power comes from the electric motor. The hybrid powertrain provides around 30 kilometers of emissions-free EV running and contributes to emissions of just 129 grams per kilometer. Let's talk about performance for a second. Zero to 200 kilometers an hour in just 8.3 seconds. That's just a tenth of the performance of our hardcore 600 LT model, and it doesn't stop accelerating until it hits 330 kilometers per hour. I mentioned earlier that our mission with Artura was to add the benefits of a high-performance hybrid powertrain, but without the weight penalty you'd normally expect with this type of technology. Well, I'm really pleased to say it's a mission we've absolutely delivered on, with Artura weighing just 14.98 kilos DIN and just 13.95 kilos dry. We've retained our hydraulic steering system for the best possible feedback, this is matched with an all-new stiff suspension system that really maximizes control of the contact patch. And this is paired with our proactive damping control to provide absolute fantastic body control, but without compromising ride comfort. And a first for McLaren is the use of an e-differential. Incorporated into that new eight-speed transmission, this enhances control, agility, and cornering performance. To summarize, Artura very much represents our, and possibly even the, next generation supercar. It uses the very latest technology to provide a versatile and engaging driving experience.
that's it for another speedy stevie video subscribe now